Hello, my beautiful friends. I hope you're doing amazing. Today, we're going to be talking all about house labs, if that's something you'd be interested in. Hi, if you're new here, my name is Audrey. Thank you so much for being here. Please consider subscribing down below before you leave. We talk about makeup over here. I'm just a mom who loves makeup, and that's what we do. And if you're returning, hi, hello, welcome. I love and appreciate you, and let's get started. Oh, real quick, hit that notification bell so you get notified every time I upload videos. My schedule is kind of crazy. And if you're interested in anything that's on my face today, everything is always linked down in the description box. Some of those links are affiliated links. That just means if you choose to shop through them, you're helping to support my channel. Thank you so, so much. And yeah, but if you don't want to shop through those links, just watching the video helps support and it is amazing. Thank you for being here. Okay. House Labs. I did a full face of House Labs. I think I own at least one of all of the products that House Labs has on the market because the brand has really surprised me. <laughs> I fell in love with that foundation and was like, mm, I got to try it all. So starting off with, the, I even have the brushes. <laughs> starting off with the foundation. This is the House Labs Triclone Skin Tech Foundation. I have mine in the shade 040 Fair Neutral. Now, if you aren't new to my channel, you have probably heard me talk about this. This went up in the ranks of my favorite foundations pretty fast. <laughs> I really love the color match that I got, and I think that it works wonders for my redness. But anyways, this claims, oh, it's $45. Retails for $45. 04 Fair Neutral is a very fair with neutral, soft porcelain undertones. It claims to be a medium coverage, which I would say it is. It's a medium to full. I can get it to a pretty good full coverage. Weightless, clean foundation with fermented Arnica that helps reduce redness and protects from environmental stress. Uh, medium coverage, natural finish, liquid foundation. I think it has a super natural finish, which is probably why I'm drawn to it so much. And I don't, I don't know the science behind it, but the fermented Arnica in the House Labs products, I think that it actually helps my redness. Like, I don't know if it's supposed to help long term necessarily, but like, I think that maybe the fermented Arnica in the formulation and foundations, and I think it's in like most of, um, I think it's in most of her products. Um, oh, if you didn't know, House Labs is Lady Gaga's brand. And I, I think that it really like helps to neutralize my redness. I don't know. It's wonderful. I really, really love this foundation. Highly recommend it. I know that it's super, super hyped up, which is why it took me so long to try it out. But the glass bottle is incredible. It's just so beautiful. I really, really love it. Maybe if you have redness like me, I have dry skin. I have acne. I um, really need, I like something more hydrating a little more natural finish, not super lightweight. <laughs> I don't really like a skin tint. I like more of a medium to full coverage. This is like my perfect everyday foundation. So absolutely love this. 100% recommend. So good. Okay. Oh, and um, I put it on with <laughs> the foundation brush from House Labs today. Absolutely. I really love this brush. I was surprised. It's really hard for me um, to use other brushes that aren't my BK Beauty 101 because I really like that one. But this one almost kind of feels like it. It is really great. <laughs> um, it claims to be, oh, retails for $39. Claims to be a luxe custom foundation brush designed to seamlessly build, buff, and blend with control and ease. So, and it's synthetic bristles. So, I really did enjoy the brush. I'm glad that I have it. I think it's very, you know, chic feeling. It's not very weighty. It's definitely um, not a hundred dollar brush, but it worked well, did the job. I really enjoyed it. Next, <laughs> concealer. This is the House Labs Triclone. What's the name on here? Triclone Skin Tech Hydrating Deep Puffing Concealer with Fermented Arnica. <laughs> um, it retails for $32, and I got mine in the shade 01 Fair Neutral. Now, th that claims to be fair with balanced undertones. I love the consistency and the color of this concealer. 
So it's a long-wearing, non-comedogenic concealer that visibly blurs, brightens, and conceals with medium to buildable coverage that de-puffs after two weeks of daily use. Now, I can't attest to that. <laughs> I don't use, um, yeah, I, <laughs> I wish I could use it every day for two weeks and let you know how that plays out, but that is not something I have even thought about doing. I guess I could do it. Um, but yes, I absolutely love this concealer. It's like, you do have to build it up. It's not like extremely full coverage on first swipe, but it's amazing. I think that it is the most smoothing concealer that I have in my collection. It's a medium natural finish concealer. It's like, I have compared it to my Tower 28 because those are my top two, I think, right now. And the Tower 28 is very radiant and it almost doesn't feel um, as smoothing because it's a little more radiant and luminous. So I prefer this one just because it feels like super smoothing under my eyes and looks really good on my acne too. So. I love this concealer and I used it with the concealer brush today from House Labs. It's the Cruelty Free Concealer Brush. Oops. Um, this retails for $28 and it's designed with a domed curve and pointed tip. This luxe concealer brush was engineered for effortless blending and coverage in hard to reach areas and it's synthetic and I really liked it for under my eyes. It almost reminded me of my uh, BK Beauty the Angie Hot and Flashy Concealer Brush. Really loving this. I'm gonna keep using it and testing it out with different formulas and things like that. But so far, I really like the House Lab brushes. Sorry, my voice sounds a little weird. I keep sneezing. Um, I'm getting over a cold. Okay, next I used the House Labs, what is this called? The High Power Pigment Paint in Blush Matte. Now, I haven't heard very good things about this so this retails for 24 dollars. the color blush matte is a muted peach color it's a clean transfer proof multi-use pigment paint that leaves skin feeling moisturized and nourished now this one i just used it as like a um a cream base for the blushes today and it looked wonderful it's a definitely a matte finish so if you're looking for more of like a matte long wearing i think that it would look really good on the eyes and the cheeks so this color looked great. I don't know. I swatched the red one in store and I did not like it. So I didn't pick up the red one, but this neutral option did work really well for me. I'm not a huge fan of matte blushes, so I don't really think I would use it for that again. But I could see like for a monochromatic look, like really fast on the eyes and the cheeks, I think it'd be good for that. The packaging's cute. Um, it like you know, it squirts out of the bottle. I did get a little too much because it's really hard to control how much you squirt out of the little tube. But um, yeah, I don't hate it. I was not, I didn't think I was going to like it a lot. So I don't hate it. <laughs> it's kind of meh, you know, it's not, it's not the most practical, but it's kind of fun. I know there's some fun colors. So yeah. Okay, next. Oh yeah, next I, what did I do? I set my face. <laughs> Next, I set my face with the House Labs Bio Blurring Loose Setting Powder. I got mine in the shade Translucent. Now, this retails for $38. It's a clean, skincare-infused loose powder that blurs imperfections, smooths skin, and optimizes makeup performance in five talc-free, soft-focus shades. So there's five shades of this, which is awesome. It has a light coverage, a natural finish, and it is a loose powder. So I'm not a huge fan of loose powders, but I am super surprised with how well this made my under eyes look. I used a teeny tiny brush and just kind of set it on top of that concealer. And usually I feel like I gotta spray my face with like a setting spray because under my eyes especially is really textured. So it tends to look not super great with powder on top of it. But my under eyes look amazing. And then I dusted it all over my face um, to kind of set everything down because I knew I'd be going in with powder products the rest of the way and I didn't want anything to catch or get weird. And the powder set my face. The only area that's a little weird is like right above my lip and around my nose and that happens with everything. <laughs> um, so I don't usually put 
a ton of powder right there, but um, my forehead lines look really good and I'm super impressed by this. I'm going to keep using it. This is my first time trying this out, but so far I'm really liking this. Does this have fermented arnica in it? I didn't write that down. I don't know. I'm just wondering if that like fermented arnica helps with redness, but I love this. Very excited to keep trying it. I'm glad that I decided to pick it up. I, yeah, yes. The foundation with the powder and the concealer, the base looks great. Okay. Next, I use the House Labs this guy, the um, Power Velvet Power Sculpt Velvet Bronzer. I have mine in the shade Light One. This retails for thirty eight dollars. Light One is a fair to fair light, warm with muted undertones, and it's a cutting edge, clean bronzing gel powder that blurs and defines with a natural looking second skin finish. All of the House Labs powders almost feel like creams, like they're they're so creamy powdery i don't know and they look incredible on the skin i think they work great for my dry skin um i think that this is an incredible bronzer and it's really really hard to tell which out of my Surratt and this one i like more because they're both so good if like i don't know budget wise or anything like that they're both incredible so I think this is amazing. I used this new. I picked up the the double ended. Did I write this down? Yes. This is the House Labs dual ended multi purpose brush. This retails for forty four dollars. I used this end of the brush for the bronzer today. Um, it's an innovative multi use brush with ultra soft bristles. Use either side with cream and powder formulas to sculpt, define, and seamlessly blend. It is also a synthetic brush. So. I don't have a lot of double-ended brushes. I'm not a huge fan, but I really wanted to try this one with the bronzer and the new blushes. So I picked up two shades of the new House Lab blushes. This was um, so, so exciting for me. This was uh, the um, like the reason that I decided to do a full face because I saw these blushes were coming back, and I'm like, yes, I need to talk about these. So, um. Yes, the blush powders. Now, uh, real quick before I get into those, this is the only one that I have from the previous blush collection, and they are different sizes. So this one's 11 grams, and this one's 5 grams. I do only have this extremely purple color, the lavender blonde, that they didn't release again. Um, so I am probably going to go ahead and pass this along to somebody else, because if you can't get your hands on it, I'm not a huge fan of talking about it. Um, so yeah, but they are different sizes and the packaging is a little different, which honestly, I don't mind that much. Um, I don't go through blushes. <laughs> um, but yeah, so bigger size, no color on the front. I really like how they decided to add color to the front of these. So I know which color I'm reaching for. Love that. Okay. So anyways, new colors I picked up. Um, the color French Rosé and the color Fire Moon. So French Rosé is a neutral rose and then Fire Moon is a beige peach. Um, I put French Rosé on one side and my Fire Moon on the other side. This is a talc-free blush with fermented arnica that helps reduce redness and hydrating squalene and hydro berry that melts onto the skin. One swipe blendable color. It's got a natural finish. So I think they definitely have a natural finish and they're super pigmented. I used this side of the double-ended brush with both of these colors. Um, I They're just so gorgeous. Oh, I was going to swatch them for you. That's right. So um, out of the two, this is French Rosé and I prefer French Rosé. I kind of kind of knew I was going to. <laughs> I really love that neutral rose. I love rosy blushes. And then this is, this is Fire Moon. Let me swatch that right there. It's more of like a warm tone blush. I don't have a lot of warm tone blushes, but I think like with a warm toned eye look, this one is really going to shine. And mixed together, I think they'd be incredible. So I really, really love the compacts. I love the new um, I don't think it's a new formulation. They feel pretty similar to the old one and they feel really similar to the bronzer. So that like creamy powder feeling. 
Oh, they retail for $32. Absolutely love, super highly recommend. Mm. They're not as radiant as my RMS blushes, but they're they're just different. And I, oh, I love them a lot, a lot, a lot. I don't know who I would choose. Don't make me choose. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Next, let's talk about some highlighters. Okay, the House Labs Bio Radiant, where's the names? Bio Radiant Gel Powder Highlighters. I have two of them. I have the shade Sunstone, which is a pink gold. And then I have the shade Rose Quartz, which is a light magenta. Oh, they're so pretty. So this is an innovative, clean highlighting powder that melts onto the skin, delivering a pure, radiant glow. Oh, and they retail for $40. So um, I use the Rose Quartz, like kind of on the top of my cheeks. Um, just to kind of make a match. <laughs> and it did just add a little bit of something, something on top of them. You know, they're not, it's not like a glittery highlight. It's the, the formula of this is so like, it's the gel, I think like jelly. Oh, I forgot to take this off. <laughs> um, it's like gel, uh, creamy powder. It's so, so pretty. I love it. And then the um, Sunstone, I have talked about quite a few times on my channel. If you've heard me speak about it, I love this highlighter. It is so beautiful. It's so radiant, but not glittery. And it's not like a bam in your face metallic highlight. These are like almost a little more on the natural side, but they don't emphasize any texture. See, oh, I just love it. I love them. So good. Love the House Labs powder products. They're great. Okay. Next, eyebrows. I actually picked up an eyebrow pencil from Sephora from House Labs. Almost all the colors are sold out on the House Labs website. So I did pick this up on Sephora. Don't know what's up with that. Maybe they're going to reformulate or something. <laughs> but this is the House Labs The Edge Precision Eyebrow Pencil. This retails for $22. This is a medium brown, which is a neutral. This is in the shade medium brown, which is a neutral undertone. It's recommended for medium brown hair. So it's an award-winning, easy to use, clean eyebrow pencil that is engineered for hair-like precision with super with a super soft spoolie. And I I like it a lot. It's not super wowing my socks off. I do really like the color, but I just, you know, color in a little bit on the tails of my brows and blend it out with a spoolie, and I'm good to go. So not Super impressive. It is a circle tip, which is, you know, it's not my favorite. It's not the tiniest tip I've ever seen. It's not the, you know, it's nothing super innovative, but it's a good one. And $22 is not that expensive. So House Labs eyebrow pencil. Next, eyeshadow palettes. So I primed my eyes with the House Labs concealer. And then I am wearing... The volume, so the Eye Library Eyeshadow Palette in Volume 1, the Super Neutrals. So I have both eyeshadow palettes. I think these are only available on Sephora, uh, not Sephora, on House Labs right now. I don't think I could find them on Sephora's website. I do believe they're limited edition, but I think they're both still available on House Labs website. So I've done a full video, I think. No, not a dedicated video, but like, I think I used this in a trying new makeup, maybe. Um, I used this one, volume two. This is the first one I picked up and it they do retail for $49. So they're not cheap, but they're good. Good enough to where I bought the other one. So, <laughs> you know, I really enjoyed it. But today I used volume one. This is a limited edition, clean, luxuriously smooth eyeshadow with next level pigment payoff in a plush matte chrome shimmer and bio glitter shades this is curated six-way combos offering high impact and highly compatible hues for laid back to blow to bold glam looks um i absolutely love this i might even love this a little bit more than the other one which is funny because i was not going to pick this one up but this duo chrome shade or like yeah shifty duo chromey looking shade right here that that's what got me. <laughs> um, which one's the glitter? Um, oh, it doesn't say. These are all chrome shades. Oh, well. 
is there so there's a glitter in this one yeah so the olive in the, oh in the two is a glitter but the other ones are all chromes cool so i absolutely love the look i created with it i think it looks incredible huge fan these eyeshadows are a little different i understand why some people don't really enjoy them but i think that if you have um more mature lids if you have more mature lids i think these are going to do amazing these mattes are that same like creamy powder formula but they blend amazing they swatch really great they look incredible like i didn't have any problem with them i absolutely loved using the mattes and then the metallics are metallics and they're gorgeous super glittery not a ton of fallout like i've had way more fallout with some other brands so i really love this 49 dollars for six shades is kind of expensive but i i love it i love them a lot i think that they're worth it and they're not um i don't think they deserve all the the bad reviews that they got <laughs> i think that they're good so there's that that's my two cents <laughs> um absolutely love both of these palettes they aren't the easiest to open that's like my only gripe i've like shoved my finger into this shade right here because they don't have like a a super obvious um open closure position you know but i love them i think the house labs eyeshadow formula is as good as their blush and highlight and uh bronzer formula so Next, this is the House Labs Optic Intensify Eco Gel Eyeliner Pencil. This retails for $22. This is the shade Deep Cocoa Matte, right? Yes, and it is rich brown. So it's a clean, creamy, gel-like eyeliner that deposits intense, long-wearing color with every smooth stroke. And this is a no-go for me. I hate saying that, but I'm going to be honest. And this, I could not get. Um, see, and it, it swatches all right. And I even tried to, like, warm it up on my hand a little, um, which is not something I'm usually willing to do because I really like a creamy eyeliner. Like, I want intense color and creaminess that does not poke or, like, pull my eyes. I couldn't get this to show up on the top. I couldn't get this to show up on the waterline. I couldn't get this to show up in my upper waterline. I couldn't get it to, I mean, I don't know. I sharpened it right before I used it. And it's just, it was too um, stiff to show up on my eyes. So um, I love that there's a little brush too. I love it when eyeliners have that because I would just, you know, blend it out a little with the brush. But this is a no-go. Definitely not going to repurchase. Oh! I totally forgot. <laughs> I started off the video before I even did my foundation with the House Labs. Oh, where's the name? PhD Hybrid Lip Oil. I picked up in the sh I picked mine up in the shade Neutral, which is the clear, obviously. Um, these retail for twenty six dollars, and it is a universal clear shade, <laughs> a clean, award winning, sheer tinted lip oil that delivers lightweight hydration and non sticky shine with a cushiony feel. And I really like this. I liked it a lot. I love the doe foot. I think it did a good job of, you know, moisturizing my lips beforehand. I did really enjoy it. I'm not like a um, supreme uh, know-it-all of lip oils, so I'm not sure where it really stands on that kind of scale. I can't compare it to a whole ton. Um, but I am going to keep using it and see like how it compares to the milk makeup that I just tried out. Um, this one doesn't have like a taste or anything. It doesn't hardly even have a smell either. So if you don't want any taste or smell in your lip oil, this might be a good option. This universal has no taste or smell. So yeah, I'm excited to keep trying that out. I really like using like a lip oil before I do anything just to get my lips hydrated because my lips... They are cracky, they are dry, they are they are a trouble area for me. <laughs> that is going to bring us into the other lip products I tried from House Labs. So, what did I use next? I did. I used this next. This is the House Labs Atomic Shake Lip Lacquer. I got mine in the shade Ruby Shine. Ruby Shine is a blue-red. Absolutely love this color. <laughs> um, 
and this retails for $26. So it's a revolutionary, clean, transfer-proof liquid lipstick that delivers high-impact color with a glossy vinyl finish that lasts all day. Must shake well. Once applied with lips separated, allow 15 seconds to activate transfer-proof shine shield. And this did not work for me. I don't know if I used it incorrectly. I might have. You know, I accidentally rubbed my lips together and I was like, hmm, shouldn't have done that. <laughs> I don't know if that, like, ruined it. Um, but after I got it a good layer on the top and bottom, I waited with my lips apart and it still was not transfer proof. Actually, it's still the residues on my hand. Um, I don't know if I didn't shake it up enough. I mean, it definitely could be user error is what I'm saying. But I think that my Dior, like um, I have a few Dior kind of formulations that are like this, the glossy um, and transfer proof situation. And those I think just worked better. The formula wasn't as finicky, if anything. Um, and it was a little bit more user friendly because if I messed it up, <laughs> um, and I've used formulas like this before. Is this going to be user friendly for somebody else? I don't know. So I did get a bright red color and there's that. So right now at this moment, I don't know if I could recommend this, but I'm going to keep trying it. It has a little ball in there to shake it up. I mean, maybe I did it wrong. We'll see. Um, stay tuned for my end of the month review video where I talk about everything I've been trying out and using. And then, yeah, we'll see if I can get this to work for me. Next, this is the, oh, where's my, yes, this is the House Labs Le Monster Lip Crayon in the shade Blush Matte. So Blush Matte is a light pinky brown, which I don't know if I really agree with. Um, it looks like a pinky brown, hi, it's just, it's a little too light. It almost gave me kind of concealer lip situation. Um. So I would probably need to use a lip liner with it. But so this is a clean, comfortable, creamy lipstick that wraps lips in moisturizing mango seed oil, lip boosting peptides and high impact color. And I didn't really like this either. This emphasized every line in my lips. Now, I, you know, I have dry lips, but I feel like a lot of people have lines in their lips. That's not uncommon. So even if you have like super moisturized, not dry, cracky lips, but you still have some texture, I think this is going to emphasize it. And I was not a huge fan. I think actually now that I'm thinking about it, maybe the darker colors would be better and not emphasize the lip lines so much. But at this point, I probably wouldn't go back and repurchase a darker color. The packaging is cool but it's weird. <laughs> Is there like a sharpener on the end? I don't think so. I think I'm just going to break it. Um, so yeah, not, not a huge fan of the Le Monster Lip Cram. Okay, lip-wise, this is the best option that I tried from House Labs today. This is the new House Labs PhD Hybrid lip glaze in the shade guava this retails for 26 dollars, and guava is a soft warm pink so this is a next generation burn free plumping glaze that visibly plumps lips with hydration the restoring non-sticky four-in-one fuses lip oil balm plumper and gloss so i think this is an incredible formula i don't think it's doing any kind of plumping it might be giving the illusion of plumping, I guess, but um, I really love the shade Guava. I think it looks incredible. It's a really good, fast, simple, you know, you want a really glossy, oily lip. I think that this is a really good option. I, like I said, don't really think it's doing any plumping. I really like the tingly plumping glosses that are a little irritating and that you feel them working, you know? I like those. So that's not this. But I do really like all out of all of the lip options that House Labs has, this is the best. I think if you can find a color in this that you love, this is this is where it's at. It looks incredible. I like it. And like with a lip liner, I think it'd look even better. So love this. Huge fan. All right. That is everything that I 
used today from House Labs, a full face of House Labs. Um, so I'll, they don't have a mascara, which they should come out with soon. I bet it'll be super cool. They don't have a primer and they don't have a setting spray. And they don't really have a contour option either, but I didn't really use a contour. And they don't have a brow gel. So um, I kind of filled in a couple holes, but not a lot. And yeah, I have just been so impressed by House Labs. I, I really, really have a hard time sometimes with celebrity brands because I think they're super overhyped. But this celebrity brand is worth the hype. <laughs> so yeah. Let me know down in the comments. Let's have a conversation. Have you tried House Labs? What do you think? Are you going to pick up any of the new blushes? I mean, these are so exciting to me. <laughs> okay. All right. So if you made it to the end of the video, thank you so much. I love and appreciate you. Give this video a thumbs up if you love videos like this. And I will see you in my next one. Bye. Cool. <laughs> Woo. Oh, no. <laughs> I dropped it. It's okay. Anyways, <laughs> regroup. Okay, lip wise, this is the best option that I tried today from House Labs. Oh. Lip wise, this is the best option today that I tried from House Labs. Why? Every time I talk, she cries. I used to be so good at planning. Since I met you, I threw my plans away Coffee at night and 10 a.m. champagne We can spend a week in London or L.A. Yeah, the sun